All right, today we are going to flash some new firmware to Little B Pros on Dan's Alien, and we are going to set up your motor directions, and then we'll probably make another video after this on calibrating the ESCs, uh, because the new version of VL Heli has a little bit funkier of a way than your normal way. So first, you're going to want to go to Google or your favorite uh, search engine and type in BL Heli Suite and you will be brought here. Your first link is blhelisuite.wordpress.com, uh, which isn't too hard to remember. Maybe you can just go there straight directly. And you can download the latest and greatest right here. This will bring you to a Mediafire site and you just have to download this and you will have a nice zip file that comes there. Uh, you're going to have to extract that zip file and that will bring you over to Great, a pop-up, so you get advertisements and stuff too. Um, that will bring you on over to an extracted folder like this. I'm actually using one version older of BL Heli Suite than the latest and greatest at the time of this video, and that's because my new version decided that it doesn't want to talk to the ESCs. Um, I haven't done enough reading to figure out why that is, but when I do, I will probably make a video on it for you. So you can fix it too, instead of having to run the older version. But anyways, so you will go ahead and launch the executable, which will bring this menu up for you. So again, make sure you take your props off whenever you're connecting the battery to your quadcopter. Uh, it's terrifying if you don't do that. And ask, ask some of your local pilot friends at least one of them has a horror story about it, I can almost guarantee it. So we've got this thing plugged in, we've got the USB plugged in, and we are going to go ahead and check over here to see that we've got the UART bridge. So we have a one wire set up on the flight controller. All of the new versions of Clean Flight and Beta Flight thankfully include that, which is awesome. We're gonna go up here and select our Clean Flight based SI Labs bootloader and just go ahead and connect with our normal uh, baud rate. Cool, you will notice this multiple ESC thing shows up. That's a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and read the setup and you'll see it sees four ESCs. They are favorite brand Little B Pros and they're currently running 14.6. Out of the box, these things ran 14.4 but I've already flashed them um, and I will show you how to do so just in one second. And you will also notice that they each say master and you have three slave devices and that's great. Uh, sometimes it will announce that it is not in sync with the slave and you don't want that to be the case. Uh, a way that you can get back to that menu there is to hit check and it will check to make sure that everything is happy. So uh, when you start off here, we will go ahead and flash BL Heli. This is the area that you can select which version of the firmware you want to select. Uh, we're gonna be running 14.6, which also happens to be the latest version. You're welcome to pick it either way you'd like. Latest and greatest. Latest and greatest. Over here, we got options on which uh, ESC we want to flash to. It picked for us, which is great. And then in here, we've got the option for which kind of style do you want this to be. It's either the main for an airplane, the tail rotor, oh, Tyrannus, the tail rotor for uh, an airplane or a multi rotor, and we are doing it for a multi rotor. So let's go. Cool. You hit yes. It warns you, and you hit yes, and it should go through and read right flash, and get all the way through, and then it will give you an announcement letting you know that it made it all the way through. Uh, as of right now, it looks like BL Heli is going to crash, and it didn't. Cool. Wow. We win. Successfully flashed in 12.187 seconds. They also warn you to remove your propellers. Good idea, ladies and gentlemen. And now it will open up the second ESC for you right here, target number two. And the process is exactly the same. We're just going to do this for all four of them. I almost said three, but this is not a tricopter. So that would be wrong. See, this is the kind of section in a video that I would edit out. I could use some movie magic and just make this entire waiting process go away. Or maybe I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'll have to sit here and listen to me ramble while you watch these numbers increase. That would be pretty lame. But you never know. Oh. One more. All right. Oh, it's like the fastest one. Now it's slowing down. 
Got him. <laughs> great. So you will see, again, master and three slaves. None of them are out of sync. That's great. So now we're going to go ahead and check out some of these settings on the ESCs themselves. First, let's go ahead and disconnect. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to jump over into Betaflight Configurator onto the Motors tab. And if we go ahead and turn this guy on, we can check. You will notice that the bottom right is supposed to be spinning clockwise direction, and the top right is supposed to be spinning counterclockwise direction. These arrows continue to correspond. So we will mess with number one, pulsing it just a little bit here. And I can see that in real life, it is spinning. Nope. It's spinning clockwise. Everybody's happy. Um, one way that I've found, because a lot of these motors just look like a blur when they're spinning. If you take a little piece of paper and you spin up the motor and you poke the motor, it will either move to the left side or the right side. Uh, of the motor and that's a good way to let you know which direction it is spinning because if you poke the back of the motor and it moves over to the left side of the motor then you know that it must be spinning clockwise and if you poke the middle and it moves to the right side of the motor then it must be spinning counterclockwise so that's one trick I like to use so let's go ahead and test out number two and we will spin this guy up, and I can already tell this is going the wrong way. So my piece of paper went over to the left side. This is spinning the wrong direction. So two we will have to invert. I call him number two. Number two. All right. <laughs> number three is next on the list. I call him number two. There we go. That is also the incorrect direction. Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. And then now number four. Usually you're going to have two of them wrong and two of them correct just as a result of wiring your ESCs straight directly to the motors and not having any cross at all, which is the cleanest look in my my uh, opinion, I guess is the right word there. Let's go ahead back in here, and it was number two. Let's, uh, sorry, we got to reconnect. Read the setup. Number two and number three. So let's go ahead and individually select number two. We're going to do that by right-clicking on the two, and you'll notice these ones turn to periods. And our motor direction we are going to reverse. Then we're going to go ahead and write that setup, and it will say write OK. And we're going to do the same exact process with number three. That was a right-click, reversed. We'll write that setup, and everybody's happy. Now, if we go ahead and with the left mouse button, click each of these individually, you will notice that it goes one, two, three, and four. Two and three are orange, which means reverse direction. Green means ready to rock, but also a slave. And one means a master and going the normal direction. So we're gonna go ahead and check on these, and you will see that it corresponds to exactly what we want, master, Slave reversed, slave reversed, and a regular slave not reversed. Great. The other thing we're going to want to check is that our max throttle is not maxed out. This is 1832. It is not maxed out. That's great. Uh, 1920, I believe, or no, sorry, 2020 is maxed out in uh, BL Heli, which means we could probably even crank this up a little bit in Betaflight, which we will probably do later. Um, that's a totally another video. Um, the other settings in here, you're going to probably want to leave alone unless you have some sort of other uh, kind of issue. I will go into more detail on what each and every one of these actually does for you in another video, but that would make this one too long. So I think that we're good right there. We'll go ahead and disconnect. And we will reconnect in here, and let's just double check that our motors are actually doing what we think they are doing before we go ahead and try and fly this baby. So that one is going the, the correct direction still, like it's supposed to. This one is now going the correct direction. This one is now going the correct direction. And this one is still going the correct direction. So we're great. Um, also, let's make sure that in flashing those ESCs, we didn't mess anything. Oh, we're going to want to calibrate the ESCs. So let's turn this off. Let's unplug the battery. Let's turn this on. We will 
max out our throttle and plug the battery in. It's going to make a little bit different beep chime than normal. And now you'll pull your slider all the way down. Great, and now they are calibrated. So we can go ahead and unplug them again and replug them in and it should make the normal chime. And it does. So we'll disconnect. We will one final time go ahead over into BL Heli Suite here. We're gonna connect and we'll read our setup and let's just make sure, oh, here we go, not in sync with master. So we're gonna have to fix that. And our max throttle is still not 2020. So that is a good sign on any of these ESCs, which is excellent. Um, let's check. We're right around 1852, 1856. Yep. So all these are pretty good. You'll notice they are gray because they're not in sync with the ESC. Um, but all we have to do is go ahead and write the setup and they will now be in sync and everything will be good. And that's it. That's all it takes to flash your ESCs. Have a good one.